So if you don't know already, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in Ohio. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you some things here. Uh, and I think this is a really good place to start. I'm going to start with this image here, make this a shared screen. Okay. You see this, you see this right here. That looks a lot like an atom bomb, right? Some of you may be thinking, uh, maybe this is back in world war two. Some of you may be thinking what not. No, this is in Ohio and this was taken yesterday. You see this cloud formation here? This looks like a nuclear bomb. And this happened in Ohio yesterday, around the same times that now they're trying to tell us that there might be UFOs and there might be aliens out there. But you know what they're not talking about? They're not talking about this explosion in Ohio. And some of you may be going, what in the world could make an explosion like this. This looks almost, this is mushroom cloud like. And then look at the sky around it. Okay. Look at the sky around this thing. This is some, this is some terrifying looking stuff right here. Okay. And for those of you listening on audio, don't worry. I've got some audio assets to bring some perspective into this here. Um, and, and just so you know, there's language in it. So if you got kids listening, don't have a listen to this episode, but the biggest thing, and again, if you're not watching this on YouTube, you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see the assets that we are giving you here. This is a mushroom cloud looking thing. Looks like an atom bomb. It's not, I'm going to tell you what it actually is, but this is the thing. Look at the, look at the sky around it. Not just the explosion. Look at the sky. And some of you might be thinking what in the world could have caused such a thing. Well, don't worry and rest assured, I'm fixing to show you. So this is the result of a train derailment. Remember what I told you. If the government is telling you that aliens might be real, one, aliens ain't real because the government just said they are, so you know it's a lie. Two, it's got to be because something so bad has happened, they've got to find something to cover it up. So here we go. Now, these are two videos. We're going to let them play because I think they bring context to it. Um, and again, if you're not watching on YouTube, you need to go subscribe because this is some big stuff. Here we go. Derail Friday. 20 of them carrying hazardous materials as flames lit up the sky in northeastern Ohio. The evacuation order is in place for anyone within a mile radius of the crash site. These aren't, these aren't storm clouds. This is a the f burn off in East Palestine. This is not storm clouds. Wow. Look at it. Well, you see it from the sky. Look, they're arresting reporters reporting on it. They're arresting reporters. There's dead fish floating all in the water. Officials are claiming that the air and water are safe. But there's fish and cattle dying everywhere. They have complained about their eyes watering when they go outside. And one woman says the noxious air killed her chickens. Out of nowhere, he just started coughing really hard and just shut down and went very fast. Look at all these crows. I'm not kidding. This is within wow. 10 miles of East Palestine. This is crazy, guys. Rail companies block safety rules before yeah, Ohio back. derailment. Look at it catching on fire. All right. So again, let's go back to the photo of that blast. Okay. Why are you not? Yeah, there we go. All right. So again, so what happened that we know is it was a train derailment and it, exploded and caught on fire. You see this. It almost looks like a nuclear blast, mushroom cloud. And then look at the sky above it. And then they showed that footage. If you're watching on video, you can see my little arrow here of the plane above the clouds that can see this gigantic dark hole. And in that video, we just showed you there's people on the ground that live here that are showing you what looks like clouds, but they're not. It's from the explosion. 
They've got livestock, everything dying. I mean, like apocalyptic type stuff, Chernobyl type levels right now. Okay. Now I'm not a science person. And so I found this video of this guy who probably has the best explanation right now. And so if you're watching, great. If not, you can hear it. This is informative for you. Here we go. This hasn't been getting a lot of coverage and the coverage that it has been getting hasn't been very good. So let's talk about the trail derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. East Palestine's about an hour north of Pittsburgh, almost halfway to Cleveland. Norfolk Southern has a rail line that goes right through town and this derailment happened right on the edge outside of town on the border of PA and Ohio. Of the cars that crashed, five of them contained vinyl chloride. It's a monomer used to make PVC. Some of the reporting on this has gotten vinyl chloride confused with polyvinyl chloride, the polymer made out of vinyl chloride. Now, the reason that this distinction is really important is vinyl chloride is very hazardous and very flammable. Polyvinyl chloride is a plastic that's used in like everything. The other thing about vinyl chloride is that it boils at 8 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's shipped in its liquid form. Meaning that when these trains crashed and these started leaking, they weren't just leaking liquid, but they were spewing boiling gas. So vinyl chloride is really toxic. OSHA has the permissible limit of how much you can be exposed to it during an eight hour shift as a one ppm part per million average over eight hours. So prior to this, the biggest spill of this chemical was in New Jersey, where one train car and about 23,000 gallons of vinyl chloride were spilled, but it didn't catch on fire. Now this crash in Ohio has five train cars. These kinds of tanker cars can carry between 25 and 33,000 gallons. Let's call it 250 to 250,000 pounds of vinyl chloride. That's per train car, five train cars, there's maybe a million pounds of this toxic chemical spilling into the ground and also boiling off into the air. But then it caught on fire. I think this is where the reporting is really bad because no one is mentioning what the byproduct of vinyl chloride burning is. Of the many byproducts of burning vinyl chloride, one of them is hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is really unstable and latches onto water, like just water vapor in the atmosphere, and that turns into hydrochloric acid. So right now, government officials, officials from the railroad, both the governor of Pennsylvania and Ohio are calling burning off the million pounds of this stuff a success, but not mentioning that it means that we have hundreds of thousands of pounds of acid in the air, potentially. Now, ever since engineering school, I've studied a lot of industrial accidents. I just find it really fascinating. And organizations like the Chemical Safety Board, NTSB, and OSHA all have like really good reports available to the public. I think as a designer, it's really good to learn about mistakes. When looking at these kinds of industrial disasters across time, there are a couple things that are pretty universal across all of them. One, the responsible party in this case, Norfolk Southern Railway, always plays down the reality of the situation. Politicians also just repeat the same lines, and then news outlets just repeat the same. So all we are hearing is the responsible party's word. So again, <laughs> let's go back to that photo. Um, why are we talking about aliens in the air? Well, could it possibly have something to do with the fact that guy with, that we just had a million pounds of whatever that was that has now gone up into the air because it caught on fire and it latches onto the moisture in the air, which I would imagine is this gigantic black spot in that is probably 10 to 20 times the size of the actual explosion cloud itself. That's probably what this is. And we have millions of pounds of hydrochloric acid in the air over this area. And that's why all the livestock and the, uh, the, the fish and the home pets and everything, but everybody's dying. Could it possibly be we've got like a Chernobyl kind of thing happening here and nobody's talking about it? And I loved what he said at the end. You know, one thing that remains true is whoever's at fault, their narrative is the one that gets pushed out there to the American people. Look at this image. Something is going on, ladies and gentlemen. That th There is something big going on. Um, I don't think it's a coincidence all these UFOs that are being shot down. One, where's the footage of them being shot down? That's what I want to know. Uh, and two, 
<clears throat> now I'm leaving this image up there so you can see it. Two, we've got earthquakes happening all over the world. We've got what looks like atom bomb kind of explosions from trail tra train derailment that's releasing hydrochloric acid in the millions of tons in the air. And everybody's just acting like, oh, it's fine. There's nothing, there's nothing going on. We got the government telling us that aliens haven't been ruled out. Okay, I'm saying that again because I can't believe that I'm even saying that. The government is saying we are not ruling out aliens right now. That is where we are in our world. That is where we are in America. Jesus, take the wheel. You can't get back here soon enough. 